As a YouTuber, I love to visit different places for my YouTube content, from the delicious food to the beautiful beach in the Caribbean islands, from the aquarium to the zoo to the local restaurants. However, since March, pandemic happened. I've been staying at home for a long, long time. Even after Texas reopened, U.S. reopened, I still felt the need to be safe due to my medical conditions. That is when I started to explore the online world. About a year ago, my brother-in-law told me about Twitch. I started to explore Twitch. Initially, I thought Twitch was just a gaming streaming site. It turned out that there's so many categories on Twitch. From just chatting to music, art, food, fitness, and of course the gaming categories. You can literally stream everything here, as long as the content is appropriate and you're not violating the copyrights. So I started streaming. I started streaming my study sessions, yoga sessions, and cooking, as I was being productive and just hang out with people. My only stream device was my cell phone, and my internet was really slow. Well, still kind of really slow. Last year, around October, I completely stopped streaming when I was preparing for my dissertation, and I was looking for the jobs at the same time. Adulting 101. So I stopped streaming a lot. But this year, during pandemic, there is only so much I could do while quarantined at home. Home workouts became repetitive. Netflix show became boring, and I was running out of YouTube video ideas. So, I started streaming again. I'm a super noob gamer. All that education I had did the opposite effect on my gameplay, like this. But I still had a lot of fun streaming and playing games. It has been a great outlet from this special, stressful time. And it's a super fun to play games and socialize during these isolated times. As a person who write reflection papers over every book I read and every experience I had, what did I learn from the streaming experience? If you're thinking about streaming on Twitch or just started streaming on Twitch, here are some of the things that I learned from my experience, and I hope they can be helpful to you. First keyword: engagement. Engagement on Twitch is the key. Interacting viewers is very important. What makes Twitch different from other platforms such as YouTube and Instagram is the interaction component. It's the you can talk people, chat with them, hang out with them live. It's a synchronized process. So while you're playing your game and streaming, make sure you talk to your viewers. People watch you because they enjoy your presence. They enjoy the conversation with you. So make sure that you make that engagement and interaction a priority in your stream. Second keyword: community. Community is the most important component in Twitch. Your viewers are not just interacting with you, but also with each other. It is important to build a positive and welcoming community. If you're just starting from ground zero, try to join a community that you really like, with no intention to gain anything from that community. From there, you will start to find people that you like to hang out with, and people who like to hang out with you. Third keyword: be genuine. This word has two folds. First of all, to be genuine about yourself. If you're genuine to others, you will attract people who are genuinely supporting you. Your viewers will reciprocate with your trust. There is no need to fake anything or fake any personalities for the cam. Don't break that trust. You do not need to fake about anything just for the donation and tips. Similarly, you don't have to fake your personality just so that people will like you more. Honestly, everybody is unique. Be you. So that people will support you just because of you. Second, be genuine about supporting other streamers and joining their community. Do not be with the intention of gaining followers from others' viewers. Nobody is stupid, and nobody likes that. Find some streamers that you truly enjoy watching. 
either for the support, join their conversations, support them genuinely, and then they will come back to support you. Do not go to a streamer's channel, stay for five minutes, get a shout out, then start your stream, hoping that some viewers from the other stream will come to your channel. This is not an effective growth strategy, and everybody knows what you're doing. No streamers like that, and you will hurt that trust, and you will break that long-term collaborations. Try to genuinely support other channels, and you will genuinely enjoy the community love, fun, and support at the same time. Fourth keyword: to be discovered. It is not easy to get discovered on Twitch, especially now when many Twitch viewers have become streamers. Twitch content is usually not searchable, unlike YouTube. People don't really search how to start a Twitch channel on Twitch search bar. So, how to get discovered on Twitch? The first way to get discovered on Twitch is through recommended channels. So, if some of your viewers are watching you, channel me, and another similar channel to yours, channel X. It is likely that Channel X is recommended to your viewers that did not watch Channel X before. Similarly, it applied to your channel. But this growth strategy is highly dependent on the Twitch algorithm. Second, other platforms, because Twitch is not a searchable platform and it does not have specific freestyle hashtags. It's important to use other platforms such as YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. To help advertise your Twitch channel, however, your other platforms should also deliver meaningful content, not just advertising for notifications for you to go live on Twitch. Number three, rates from other channels. As a content creator, I have been told numerous times by other successful content creators to be nice to everyone. Not just other streamers, but also viewers. Sometimes viewers will also make a request for raid from other streamers. When you are raided by another channel, some viewers from the raid may follow you and stay watching. However, don't expect too much from the raiders because you may not have a similar content that enjoy to watch. So, raid is a good way to get new followers coming in, but don't count on it because it's really by chance. Number four, collaborations. Twitch is a social platform. Collaborate with other streamers can help both of you grow your channel and deliver more interesting content for your viewers. However, this collaboration should be a meaningful one. You collaborate for the enrichment of the content, but not for getting each other's viewers. Wrong intention for collaboration may not lead to long-term collaborations or draw higher interest from the viewers. Number five, game categories is also important. Try to stream the games for the medium-sized game categories. It's more discoverable for small streamers. Categories that are too small or too big can be rough for your channel to be discovered by new viewers. But if you already have an audience base, feel free to stream in those categories too, because your audience may have fun watching those categories. Fifth keyword: content. Once new people discovered your channel, it is your content that keeps them here. If you watch some big streamers' content and yours, there's actually not that much of a difference. Actually, you may be playing the same games in the same way. Okay. So now, what makes your content stand out as a small streamer? First, your personality. That's why you don't want to fake any personality. You don't want to pretend to be someone else because your personality makes you unique to yourself. And to help your viewers to stay, for your personality to hang out with you. Second, is the conversation with you. Some big streamers they have a lot of people chatting at the same time, and sometimes meaningful conversations do not really occur. So here is a big advantage as being a small streamer is that you can deliver meaningful communications and meaningful conversations with your viewers. You can talk about something about studying, about your game, about anything about life. The interesting conversations and engaging conversations will keep your viewers staying here and hang out with you. Third, the community vibe. 
Community vibe is very important. I went to several streams before and I like the streamer, but sometimes people in the community and somehow I got attacked for no reason. So I just clicked out. But if you have a welcoming community vibe in your stream, people are likely to hang out and stay because they not only chat with you, but also with other viewers. Number four, you may do some unique content for your channel, such as yoga tutorials, learning a language, and etc. Try to find a niche that's really suitable for you and you have fun streaming. And if you have a unique content that other people don't deliver, sometimes your viewers will stay in your stream. Keyword, branding. This is something that I personally struggle with. Look at those big streamers and compare them with, let's say, myself. What do they have but I don't? Well, it is branding. If you really want to grow your YouTube channel or Twitch channel as a business, branding is very important. Branding is not just by creating a logo, but unique identity to you that's marketable. I still struggle with branding, but as a small streamer who just started this platform, there's nothing wrong about not having a very specific branding. Try to explore a little in this platform until you found your own brand. Seventh keyword, expectations. We all have our goals and expectations. It makes us happy to see the channel grows and to see viewers to follow to see people subscribe. However, streaming is not a make money quick business. You could stream for hours and days and weeks and months before becoming affiliate, gaining the first subscriber and make your first Twitch payout. So what is your expectation of your stream? Most of the Twitch partners don't even make enough money for Twitch to be full-time job. In addition, Twitch income is not very stable because before you're big enough to get any brand deals or sponsorship, you're really relying on your viewers, subscriptions, and bits. So my advice is to try not to have any expectations or at least realistic expectations over the stream. Just try to enjoy the process and try to hanging out with people playing games. At the same time, also try not to limit yourself Still try different growth strategy and explore your brand. Be hey, you never know. Maybe sometime you will become a full-time Twitch streamer. You will get brand deals and sponsorship. So try not to have expectations, but at the same time, not to limit yourself. The eighth keyword, reciprocate. Twitch is somewhat different from other social media platforms in a way that your viewers still have to pay out of their pockets to subscribe and cheer. One way to reciprocate that support and effort is to upgrade your stream setup and to improve the quality of your stream. Another way is to do subscriber giveaways and try to do community recognition and try to support your viewers in other aspects. It is very, very important for you to let your viewers know that they're not taken for granted and they're truly, truly appreciated. The ninth keyword is balance. Streaming is not easy. It takes time to grow. It's very important for us to find a balance between the business side of the stream, the fun side of the stream, your own personal life, your true self, and the fact that you want to entertain the viewers. Try to have a healthy growth of your channel instead of having a burnout. There are so many content creators are currently experiencing burnout because they're trying so hard to beat the algorithm. But the chances are that we may or may not get the results what we want. Remember, life is about the process of living the life not so much about the results of the life because there is only one result of the life. So try to enjoy the streaming process and not so much worry about the results and try to have a healthy balance. The 10th keyword, enjoyment. You should with the streaming process because every stream is over two hours long. It could be painful if you don't enjoy the process. And let's be honest, it will take a while for you to make real money on Twitch. So that is the assumption that you are on the right path of partners. 
making the partners does not guarantee a full-time job either. Try to enjoy the process, because the laughters and joy are contagious. If you enjoy the stream, your viewers will feel it and get that happiness vibe too. So it's important that you enjoy the streaming process and the whole process of hanging out with your viewers. If you don't enjoy the stream, you might as well just play some games offline with friends. All right, that's it for today. That's all I learned from streaming on Twitch. I hope this video can be helpful to you if you are just starting on Twitch or if you're planning to start on Twitch. Before you go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because I tried so hard to summarize everything I learned from streaming on Twitch. And honestly, a thumbs up will be very helpful for the YouTube algorithm so that my content will be recommended to more people. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, check out my other YouTube content, and also check out my Twitch channel, Miss Ming Lifestyle, and follow me on Instagram by Miss Ming Lifestyle. All right, that's it for today. Thumbs up, subscribe, ring the notification bell, check out my Twitch and Instagram, and I will see you in my next video. Happy streaming! Bye!